Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> this video is a long time coming. You guys have asked for this video quite a bit um, ever since I went kind of from that ombre brown to just blonde. I've done that a couple of times in the past, but uh, I finally filmed it, you guys. Today's the day that I'm going to share with you guys how I dye my roots from a really, really dark brown color to this beautiful uh, ashy blonde. I literally just did it um, and I'm excited to share it with you guys because you guys want to see it. So before we get started, make sure that you have subscribed to my channel, that you've hit that subscribe button, that you hit the little notification bell next to it so that every time I put up a new video, it can go into your subscription feed. If you don't hit the bell, you will not get a video from me every time. Simply make sure that you hit that bell. So. Disclaimer first, you guys, I am not a professional hairstylist, hair colorist, cosmetologist. I went to cosmetology school um, about five, how many years has it been now? Six years now. Um, I went to cosmetology school and I was literally in my last hundred hours um, out of, I don't know how many hours we had to have in Arizona. Why do I want to say a thousand? It was a lot of hours that we had to have in Arizona. Like, and I was in my literally my last month uh, before I graduated and I had a baby. So I didn't get to finish and I never went back because just life happened one thing after another. Um, and so I was kind of left with out a cosmetology license, but I knew what I was doing. I have some knowledge. I am not up to date with anything that's new or hip. Um, this is just what I know using my knowledge of how to color your hair, how to bleach and turn from this really dark, like level four, I wanna say, which is really dark brown to a level eight, which is what I am, blonde. So I'm gonna try to educate you guys as much as possible and give you as much knowledge that I have. But again, I'm not a hairstylist. Um, I'm doing the best that I personally can, so just, Take that into consideration. I do though want to say if you are trying to bleach your entire hair from a dark brown or anything like that that isn't the roots, I definitely recommend you going to a hairstylist to do it so that you can get a whole even color and then you can kind of touch up and come back here and see how to touch it up. Definitely recommend that because bleach is a tricky little beast. I, ugh, it's tricky and it, reacts different on different parts of your hair and if you don't want to have cheetah hair or weird um. color hair you definitely need to go see a hairstylist and I know it's pricey guys but I definitely recommend it. Two, upkeeping blonde hair if you are thinking about going blonde is it's hard. Every six weeks I gotta do it and um, the more I do it the easier it becomes especially when you have someone helping you. I have my husband do the back of my head and uh, he does a fantastic job honestly better than when I try to do my sides. Um, so if you have someone helping you it goes by a lot faster and uh, there's definitely things you need to know when you are doing this. Things to help you so that you ha keep your hair healthy and it doesn't break off and I'm going to go into that, detail into that um, in a second. But uh, it's a tricky business you guys so be very wary, be very careful. You don't want to burn your scalp, you don't want to burn your hair off to where your hair is falling off, you don't want to damage your hair and you don't want to be left with cheetah hair where you have to go back and fix it or try to fix it or end up going to hairstyles with crazy looking hair where they're just going to lecture you about it. If you're watching Bomb Beautiful's video and you, who is this bomb beautiful? Don't do that. I don't want somebody getting upset at me, okay? I'm just telling you, if you're bleaching your entire hair, go to a hairstylist. So uh, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some educational part of the video. I don't remember if I said that already. And then I'm gonna go through the demo and show you how I actually do it. This is just for like roots. Um, doing your entire hair from a dark brown, it's a process long process. When you do your roots and you do them every six weeks, it is so easy, you guys. It's about like an hour and a half. And most of that time, you're just waiting for your hair to process. So it's a lot easier, especially when you have somebody helping you. Um, so uh, yeah, let's just get started with the before. So this is what my hair looks like before. You guys have seen it if you've been following my channel. Uh, I have, it ends, it's been about two months, maybe three months since I've 
done my roots so you can see the brass has really came through um, almost different color brass brassy orangey and my roots are about two inches grown out I definitely recommend if you're doing this every six weeks do it when you have like this much regrowth like an inch or less maybe a half an inch is the best because it goes by fast it will take fast it's just easier to do um, the closer the bleach is to your scalp, like the closer you're bleaching to your scalp, the warmer it's gonna be, the quicker it's going to develop and lighten. So if you have like two or three inches, uh, the bottom part of those three inches might not lighten as fast as the roots, 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 which can end up making you look cheetah-ish and it's just, it's more difficult that way. You then have to put it on like this part of your roots and then go back in closer to your scalp after you've done your whole hair with that second half. It's just, it just takes, uh, it's just a process. So if you do it every six weeks, it's a lot easier. My natural hair color is a dark brown. In hair coloring, hair stylist world, um, they put numbers on the level of darkness and lightness of your hair. So number one is the jet black, darkest of the black, black, black. That's number, level one. Okay, level 10 is bleach blonde, bright white, blonde up there in that region. So it's level one is lighter, sorry, level 10 is lighter, level one is darkest of the dark. I'm a level four, okay, I'm a level four and I wanted to get to a level eight, which is what I have on my hair right now. So I needed to jump four levels, okay? That's why I need to use bleach and lighten my hair to get it up to those levels, okay? Number one thing, warning, I always give you, I am going to give you, do not use 40 volume bleach ever. Please don't do it. Uh, it's just going to ruin your hair. Do not do it. Uh, if your hair hairstylist is doing it, let them do their thing. They know what they're doing. You do not do it. I don't even do it. I never use 40 volume. The highest volume you're going to see is 20. 20 volume, that's what I use on my roots and I leave it on for about 30 minutes because my roots lighten like this. So the hair kind that I have is I have lots of hair, but it's like medium like it's the strands themselves are about medium thickness. If you have really light or really thin thickness of hair, um, be very careful that you watch your hair. It's going to lighten a lot faster and it will break a lot easier as well. So, uh, yes. So I am level four naturally. I wanted to get to a level eight. I use 20 volume to do so. Uh, and what I have on my hair is demi-permanent color. I didn't want to do a permanent color because it's a lot more harsh. Um, also, if I use demi, if I use a permanent color, but then it fades, I'll then have to retouch it up or use a toner because I have a lot of brassiness. So I'm just gonna tell you right now, since I only wanted to get to a level eight, I only cared about whenever I did my whole entire hair to lighten it up to a level eight. Some of it was level seven. So seven, eight around there, I wanted to lighten it up, okay? I wasn't interested in going all the way to a 10. So because of that, whenever I was lightening it up, it lightened up to a level eight, but it still the brassiness still remained. So a lot of brassy orange, came through because I have really warm hair and so that's kind of how it lightens and so uh, instead of toning that because I just I didn't want to do an extra process just the more you add on the more unhealthy it is for your hair instead of toning it what I did is I toned it with my hair color so I kind of used I don't know if you know the color wheel um, if something's really really orange you want to put something that's blue in it or um, kind of cool in it. So if you have something warm, you put something that's really, really ashy cool, it's gonna make it more neutral, is kind of my thought on it. So I wanted my hair color to look like an eight N, an eight neutral. So because, as you can see in the video, um, my roots, when they lighten up, they're kind of yellowy, orange, really brassy. And then also all the way up to, I think about here, uh, it's very orangey. Um, and the bottom had been bleached previously into a very light, light blonde, so that was fine. It, did, it wasn't brassy. Because of that, uh, I put an eight ash demi-permanent 
hair color into from the roots all the way to a half point where it's orangey and then at the bottom I just put an 8N hoping to balance it out so it looks like an 8N all throughout my hair which usually works really really well so if you have if you're all over blonde um, and you're just doing your roots and it's all the same color I would definitely put an 8N from your roots all the way to your end um, if you're trying to get like me just putting that out there. So I'm using two demi-permanent hair color formulas because my bottom is just naturally ashy and was just a nice color. And kind of this area is just really orangey brassy and I don't really want to tone it and to kind of add that extra process. So instead of toning it and putting an ashy toner on it, I just use an ashy hair color, the same level so that it can kind of counteract that and make it all look the same like you see it now. So with that said, let's go ahead. I think that that's everything that I had to say to you guys, educational part of it. So the hair color I have on is 8N is my hair color. If you're trying to go somewhere and get your hair done, that's kind of where I'm at, 8N. Um, I'm using an ash and an N because I have a lot of brassiness on the top part of my hair and the bottom is fine. Um, so take that as you will. Uh, and so let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys how I actually go through and do my hair um, and then we'll come back. Okay, so this is everything that you need. You are going to need some chemical gloves. You're gonna need a brush, a bowl. You can find everything at Sally's. I have a little measuring cup back there. Also this booster. This just helps protect your hair whenever you are bleaching it. I love this powder lightener. This is one of my favorites and it doesn't have kick up. Just a lot of good things that go with that one and it is scalp. Uh, safe. Also 20% volume developer. I don't use anything more than that. So I'm going to start off by parting my hair into four sections. I find that being organized is a, the best way for you to get the best results because you don't miss sections, you don't feel overwhelmed, you don't take too long. It's just the best, the best thing that I definitely recommend is dividing your hair into four parts. Then you can go ahead and mix your lightener. It is one to one ratio, which means you put in as much developer as you put in lightener powder. So if I do two scoops of lightener, then I'm gonna do two scoops or the same amount of developer. And again, just use 20 developer. Um, I never wanna go above that. So make sure that you mix very well until it's super, super creamy, not chunky, just really smooth. Also something I want to say about this lightener is that it doesn't stink. Um, sometimes bleach is really strong. This one actually is not very strong. Then I'm going to mix in the booster into the lightener and I'm just going to mix that really, really well and then it's ready to apply. Two scoops was plenty for my whole entire hair. So the first thing you wanna do is start around the perimeters, so around the sections. Um, and you do wanna start from the back to the front with bleach always because the back takes the longest to lighten. So I go around the whole perimeter. You can see my husband is kind of going around and helping me. He was so good in trying to help me. The thing I wanna say about this anytime you're doing it on the roots is be so careful not to put it on your previously bleached hair, your blonde. You definitely don't want to do that. You want to go all the way up to the blonde, but you just want to be so careful whenever you are putting on your bleach because you don't want to damage that and make your hair kind of split off in that section because you over bleached that part. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely want to go all the way to the blonde, but you want to be very careful not to overlap onto the blonde. So I'm doing each section and then you can then we're going to start with one of the back sections and start going through the hair that way. So the key with bleach is using thin strands, so kind of dividing your hair in thin strands and uh, so using thin strands is really going to help make sure that you get it all the way through so you don't end up with like cheetah hair or anything like that. And so what I did is I went into the perimeter of the back of the hair and then I went through each individual strand. Then I went to the perimeter of the front of the hair and then I'm going to go to each individual strand in the front 
parts of the hair, if that makes sense. So after I go ahead and I put the bleach on, I'm just gonna basically watch it. I go about 20 to 30 minutes and see until the front is pretty bleach blonde looking. And then I just go ahead and I rinse it off, shampoo and condition my hair and then I'm ready to start. So basically I'm gonna have two formulas. I'm gonna have the ashy formula and the neutral formula. So the black bowl is gonna be the neutral formula. It's basically, I will link everything below, but I am using Demi Permanent Hair Color. It is a two to one ratio, so you only want two ounces of hair color to one ounce of 10 volume bleach. And then I'm gonna mix it around really, really, really well. So the ash color is gonna go to, from my roots to the mid shaft and the neutral color is gonna go from the mid shaft, like the mid part of the hair all the way to the ends. And I'm gonna show you here why. You can see my ends are already kind of neutral looking, but you can see how warm the top part of my hair is and my roots, you can see how yellow they are. So that's why I'm putting the ash on that part of the hair and uh, only putting neutral on the end part. That way it can all look like one even color. So you do want your hair damp whenever you're using Demi Permanent Color. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing, divide my hair into four sections because it's easier. But honestly, if this is sloppy, it's totally fine. You can see, like I just did everything really sloppy. This is probably one of the faster parts of the whole thing. I don't need help doing it. Um, but basically, I'm gonna start applying that color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put it around the whole perimeter of the hair through every section the perimeter not just the back and the front like we the back and then the front like we did with the bleach we're going to do it all over first and then we're going to start with the front of the hair the front two sections every time you're using hair color you want to start in the front and then work your way back. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm doing the ash and then I'm going neutral at the ends and then I'm doing a new strand. Ash and then neutral and then I'm gonna go to a new strand. It's actually really easy, you guys. When I'm all done with this, I'm really gonna massage the hair color into my hair and I'm gonna use whatever is left into my hair. And then I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes. Then I'm just going to rinse it out and use conditioner in my hair, a conditioning mask. And then you're basically good. You do not want to use shampoo whenever you're rinsing your hair out. And you're basically done. You guys really enjoyed the video. I hope that it was easy to understand and I was able to actually you like get what I'm saying. If you have any questions about how I did my hair or any recommendations or you're asking, if you have any questions for me, make sure that you comment below. I'll make sure to check in the comments. So make sure to comment below. Also next week, you aren't gonna have a video from me because I'm taking a little break, but I'll be back the following week. Well, I'm not really taking a break. I'm going to be filming for Halloween. So if you have any ideas for costumes for Halloween or ideas that you want me to create for Halloween, you have any recommendations, things you wanna see, make sure to comment below and let me know what you wanna see for Halloween because I'm starting to film so make sure that you go down in the comment section and let me know what you want to see um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, you guys are absolutely amazing thank you if you're new and you're subscribing I hope you enjoy my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys